Reality al Mahdi, this channel is red light. Enjoy the blessed words of the well guided Imam here on Reality al Mahdi. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The task delegated to him by Allah subhanahu wa taala from going through every alam of the mission to splitting the light that needed to be shared, the light that emanated from the Prophet. The one who has this responsibility is Mawlai Shah Ahmad Tijani Sharif. What emanated from the Prophet or Fuyudat or effluence of light? Because the Prophet benefits the soul. He benefits it by helping a person whose soul is empty and makes it full. The Prophet recharges empty souls with light. When the Prophet energizes a soul, there is a place in which he connects the ladder with his light to satisfy the individual in need of light. That connection right there is the mystical power of Mawlai Ahmad Tijani. This connection just mentioned. You know you always see people who are amazed by his power. His rank amazes them. Some debate about it. Others prefer to be quiet while a person speak only about what they know. But if his rank surprises his status among the saints, you should try to look at the position of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, among other prophets. And before the arrival of the Prophet, Adam came along with the 99 secrets. Each Adam learned a secret and disappeared at dawn. When the hundredth being appeared, everyone thought he was going to disappear. But the hundredth Adam remained and became the father of mankind. It was a surprise for everyone. When Prophet Ibrahim came, Allah publicly said, Ibrahim Qalilullah when people were not expecting such a statement from God. It was a surprise for everyone. When Prophet Musa came, people were saying it was impossible to have a connection with the Lord. The Prophet Musa replied that he will speak with God once at Mount Sinai. He climbed Mount Sinai and began a dialogue with the Creator. Everyone was surprised. When Prophet Noah came with his 950 years, during his time, his people didn't think a prophet with a nubuwa could live for a long time. This statement is still relevant as of today. But before a prophet with a nubuwa was not expected to pass a certain age, Prophet Nuh came and Allah mentioned al fasanatin ila hamsin. In any case, the nubuwa was inside of him for a period of 950 years. Tradition still says the following, whoever possessed Wilaya at an early age would not live long. But the life of Prophet Nuh refuted this tradition. He was a holder of a Nubuwa for 950 years as confirmed in the Quran. But just because this number of age was mentioned, that it means it was his total age. No, you just keep in mind what God has declared. al fasanatin ila hamsi. This was a surprise for everyone. Isa ibn Maryam came, and during his time, people thought they had seen it all. Especially with the prophets who performed miracles. Allah came one day and said,
Isa ibn Maryam arrived with no father. And everyone thought that for a baby to be born, there has to be a father and a mother. But to their surprise, they only found his mother. Allah asked them questions to make them critical think about the creation of Adam. Where was his father or mother? Have you thought about Hawa? Who brought them into the world? So before jumping to conclusions, think about Adam first. The revolution of lights with the one and only Imam al-Bahti al-Muntazar.